Our frontline workers have been fighting COVID for more than a year now and struggling with their own issues while trying to save lives. Tonight, we meet a nurse who's been on the front line since day one, and now she feels like she needs to watch her back. CBS 2's Cindy Shu has her story. Karen Lamb is an emergency room nurse at Jacoby Medical Center in the Bronx. She kept a video diary during the worst of COVID. Today is especially hard. There's a lot of sick patients. And I feel like it's just, it's just hard. She lived with her parents in Bayside. I was terrified to bring it home to my parents, um, especially my dad. He's older and he's, he's just like, he's like my whole world. While Karen stayed in her own section of the house and took multiple precautions, her father did get COVID, but recovered without having to be hospitalized. At the same time she's fighting to save lives at Jacoby, the number of anti-Asian attacks starts going up across the country. Am I a healthcare hero or am I like yellow peril? Right, like which one am I? Yellow peril is a racist term describing Asian people as a danger to the Western world. It's heartbreaking, really, um, to think that anyone could look at me and see a threat. You know, just like I'm 5'1 and 100 pounds. She and her parents feel like they have targets on their backs. I'm a New Yorker born and raised, and for the first time in my life, I felt afraid on the subway. I never experienced such anxiety while waiting for the R train. She says everyone can help fight hate and ignorance. If you see something, say something and educate yourself. Karen says she'll keep speaking up and saving lives. In the South Bronx, Cindy Shu, CBS 2 News.